We'll have it first the, uh, the oath of office against the bar judge Will Bust. Okay, the family, Joey Graham, come on up. All of us? You, you did. Yes, you can. Yes. Will family. Surrounded. Yeah. 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 Are everyone ready? <laughs> Repeat after me. I, Joy Graham, I, Joy Graham, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, and the Charter and Ordinances of the City of East Cleveland, Ohio, and the Charter, the Charter and Ordinances of the City of East Cleveland, Ohio, and I will faithfully, honestly. And impartially, I will faithfully, honestly, and impartially discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office of member of city council for the city of East Cleveland. Of member of city council for the city of East Cleveland for the term January first, two thousand sixteen. From the term January first, two thousand sixteen through December thirty first, two thousand nineteen. Through December thirty first, two thousand nineteen. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. recognize my uh, son who had took the liberty of coming from work. Step up here. This is Anthony Thomas. This is Judge Tina. And this is Judge Dawson. I, Barbara J. Thomas, you saw on this square. Do solemnly swear that I will support that I will support the Constitution, the Constitution of the United States, of the United States, the Constitution, the Constitution of the State of Ohio, of the State of Ohio, and the Charter and the Charter and ordinances and ordinances of the City of East Cleveland, Ohio, of the City of East Cleveland, Ohio, and and I will faithfully and I will faithfully honestly honestly and impartially and impartially discharge the duties of the office discharge the duties of the office of a member of city council a member of city council for the city of east cleveland ohio for the city of east cleveland ohio for the term for the term january 1st january 1st 2016 2016 through december 31st through december 31st 2019 2019 to which i have been elected to which I have been elected. So help me God. So help me God.
Thank you. Uh, we have, per the chartered ordinances of the city of East Houston, congratulations to the uh, newly elected and re-elected council members. And we will hear from them shortly. Uh, now we will have the organizational meeting for the charter and ordinances of the City of East Cleveland during which we will elect the President and the Vice President of Council. As soon as the President of Council is elected, which will be in the next couple of minutes, I will pass the gavel to run the meeting to the individual who is elected President. We will now have nominations for the Office of President. Yes. Mr. Chairman, I nominate Barbara Thomas for the President of East Cleveland City Council. Okay. Mayor, I nominate Thomas Wheeler for the president of the city council. Okay. So we have Barbara Thomas and Thomas Wheeler nominated for president of city council. Are there any more nominations for the office of president? Any more nominations for the office of president? Any more nominations for the office of president? There are no more nominations. <coughs> nominations for the office of president are closed. We will now have the voting for the office of president. <coughs> The last person nominated shall be the first voted upon. That would be Councilman Thomas Mew. We will now call the roll for Council President for Thomas Mew. Madam Clerk. Councilman King? Yay. Councilman Martin? Nay. Councilwoman Graham? Yay. Councilman Wheeler? Yay. Councilwoman Thomas Nay. Okay. Uh, the first individual to get three votes for the office of president is elected president. Um, Councilwoman Thomas, would you like to go through with the vote on your nomination? Um, what do you mean go through with the nomination? Would you like to vote in the park? The first person with three votes wins the office of president. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll now have the vote on Barbara Thomas for the office of president. Please call the roll. Councilman King? Nay. Councilman Martin? Yay! Councilwoman Graham? Nay. Councilman Wheeler? Nay. Councilwoman Thomas? Yay. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulate, please, the newly elected president of East Cleveland City Council. Selfish ambition or vain conceit. <laughs> That's Philippians 2, verse 3. 
we just changed over leadership on this council. Very interesting. We have a, a clerk who I think is very competent. And what I'm trepidatious about is the fact that I'm here through the grapevine that one of the first acts is to get rid of our clerk, which I think would be a disastrous mistake. To learn how to navigate through these things that we have to do, the legislation, the law, to do the research, you don't learn that overnight. For bring somebody new in, it take them five or six months to learn how to do this. This is real technical. So I hope that doesn't take place. Uh, I wish the new council person, Joey Graham, well. I have some concerns that I'm going to share with you for 2016. Before I came here, uh, Terrace, where here on Oscar used to be, I think it's deplorable that we can't block it off so people can't go through there. You know how they have the, the big blocks on the freeway on 71 and 91 when you're going <coughs> south and north? If you drive down there, you tear your car up. Again, on uh, Ravine and Hillsboro, another street that just, it's just horrible. And, and even the lack of money that we have is, is inexcusable for that. Because if you tear your car, you have a right to sue the city. We have poverty. We have a lot of things that we're lacking, but we're still filled with hope. I wasn't interested in being president or vice president or anything like that. I said, I, I, it came up because our issues are more important than the position. And basically what the president does is navigate the media. He has no more power than anybody else. This body functions on three votes, just like the school board does, on three votes. We have to have three votes to get something done. It's my hope in 2016 that this administration steps forward with this council to do economic development and get things done. You've heard me say for the last two years, we have the land on location, especially in War II with Barbara States. They want that land, they want it bad. If you're familiar with University Circle and Paneras and Barnes and Nobles and the bowling alley and all like that, they're landlocked down there. Mm -hmm. So who has the land and we have the location less than 500 feet away? We do. So we need to be at the table, Daryl Fields, negotiating what's best for the citizens. That's what we need to be. So if we get caught up in politics, we're going to get rid of somebody on personality and all like that. We're just doing the same thing. People say that we can't get it done. We can get it done. We are a unique city in the state of Ohio, predominantly black. Can we do governance? Can we let the small things? I don't always agree with Gary Norton. He doesn't always agree with me, but I still try to be diplomatic about it. And I kind of shrug off the foolishness. Our world is full of poverty. Mm -hmm. Our world is full of pain and hunger and debt and all those kinds of things. But we're called as people to come together. Our history calls us together, from slavery up to now. So if we get these little positions and play politics and, and backbite and, and get and do that kind of <coughs> stuff, that's cruel foolishness. <coughs> cruel foolishness. Now, I, this is my 18th year on council. Nobody's been on the council longer. Nobody in the history of these has been on the council this long. So I know what the history is about. I know what needs to be done. But if there's kind of acts that take place where we're getting rid of competent clerks because somebody don't like them or because of their color, then we're just practicing the same old thing. We have too much to do here. We can turn this thing around in five years. We're only three miles. Route 20, that's Euclid Avenue, it's prime. We have prime real estate. We need to, Dale Field, to be sitting down and negotiating with the Chris Ronays and all of them to see what we can do. Not for them to be taking us over. Okay. You talk about Cleveland, you just saw Tamir Rice, mm. Tim Timothy Rosso, and Melissa Williams who were killed up here at Heritage Middle School, 137 shots. We don't need that foolishness. If you saw the paper this past Sunday, they talked about the local government fund. Cleveland ain't got anything to offer us. They got their own challenges. They're just trying to get through this Republican convention. 
So we, I'm hoping that we can come together. Brother Wheeler, we, we had a conversation. And I hope we do the right thing. You're here, you're there now. <coughs> okay, so it's going to be. <coughs> Joey Graham, you got a lot to learn. You're going to learn a lot up here. <laughs> a whole lot. That's true, yeah. So pray for us. We need it. We can do it here. The school board seems to be moving in the right direction. I'm hearing good things, Judge, about the, the schools. Thank you. But can we get together here? It ain't about power. It's about serving. The greatest honor right. there is is to serve. That's what Jesus Christ did. <coughs> so ain't anybody coming in here firing folks and doing foolishness. <coughs> you guys experienced people. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen. Amen. So pray for us. We need it. So let it be written. Yes, sir. Why? 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 Why